Well, good day, viewers. Today we have a sick child here. 2017 Chevy Equinox. I just boosted it to bring it in. It was dropped off here. I'm pretty sure there's no oil in this thing. Let's check the engine oil. It says change engine oil on the dash. Drier than a popcorn fart. Okay, well, we're going to put some oil in it and start it up because it's rattling like crazy. Wonder when the last oil change was done. So I put two liters in already and it's still not showing on the dipstick, but I noticed when I was putting oil in it. Look at the smoke come out of the dipstick tube. I think it's got a spun rod bearing or a main bearing or something because it didn't sound too healthy. So that's four liters now I put in it. Unless it leaked out all of a sudden. Oh, well, now it's at the full mark. Well, it only holds about 4.6, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's see if it makes any more noise. Let's start this thing up and see what it sounds like. Oh, it's funny how oil makes things quiet down. <laughs> check engine lights not on next oil change is due at hundred and twenty two thousand according to mr. lube sticker and let's see what's it got on it where's the trip odometer button uh, menu change oil soon it's got hundred and thirty so it was due at hundred and twenty two so that's they normally put 5,000 kilometers, so that's 122, that's 8,000 over, about 13,000 kilometers since the last oil change. Oh boy. So let's scan this thing and see if it's got any cam timing error codes. Now the battery was dead outside, so it may have erased itself. Actually, I'll do a network code scan and see what comes up. It's actually idling pretty quiet, but it does sound like it's got a bottom end rumble when you rev it up. Intake cam position. Exhaust cam position. Exhaust camshaft position system performance. Transponder modulations, all door locks, switches, sunroof position, tire pressure sensors, global positioning system. Hmm. Well, the bad codes are the cam timing codes, and those are likely due to loss of oil pressure. So we're going to do an oil change on this thing, change the oil and filter and see if it'll live, but that can't have been good for it. We're back working on this uh, Equinox this morning and I think we found where the oil went likely the PCV system froze up and it's blown the oil seal out of the back you can see the oil is undercoated the entire vehicle all the way to the back oh boy but I started it up this morning and it's got a knock in it, so they ran it out of oil and done some catastrophic damage to the engine, unfortunately, 130,000 kilometers. Let's start it up and listen to it. I'm going to start this thing up.
Todd knock. No point changing the oil, that's not going to help. Not unless I put 2050 in it. So here's a case on Identific, Identifix. There's a bulletin for the uh, oil leak from the rear of the engine. Dry, extended driving at cold temperatures below zero, which we've had. The PCV orifice, which is under the intake manifold or part of the intake manifold freezes is this the one here my comment yeah see the seal the oil seal will blow at the back of the crank trouble is now it's damaged the crank bearing so the basically needs an engine Verify proper thermostat operation, remove the cam cover, inspect the PCV baffle inside, and replace the cam. Obvious sludge buildup is clean. Any ice sludge, there was ice on the oil filler cap when I took it off yesterday. PCV nipple on the cam cover, the PCV orifice between two and three intake port runners. Use a 1 16th inch drill bit as instructed below to make it bigger, I suppose. Hmm. That's the PCV orifice in the freaking intake manifold. So you gotta pull the intake off to clean that. And there's the passage. There's no way to inspect that without taking the intake off. I wonder if there's any kind of policy adjustment on this thing for this problem. I mean, it's not like they didn't know this was a concern. Customer did inform me that they had done an oil change and the oil life reset was not reset. Uh, I'll look for a bulletin. So here's the deal on this Equinox. I checked with the dealer. The powertrain warranty expired in November of this year. And it's probably over mileage wise because I think it was 100K. Uh, there's no policy adjustment on it, but there is a bulletin on that PCV freezing. But uh, that doesn't uh, in itself create a policy adjustment. Checked with the dealer, uh, Reman engine from GM is 7,000 Canadian. But they're on back order, minimum two to three weeks. Nothing used across the country, low mileage anyways. So I give the customer the bad news, but this will be probably close to 10 grand by the time it's done if we put a Reman GM engine in it with labor because it's an all-wheel drive. Oh well, Merry Christmas.